kept you waiting, huh? Hello, good morning, uh, afternoon, or indeed, good bloody well evening to all of our fantastic listeners to episode 79 of our gaming podcast, Hotcast. I'm just joking, it's called Crosscast. Uh, to get things started, I want to introduce you to the two absolute chumps uh, I'm going to be chatting with. It is the Dapper Rapper with a head. Uh, oh, fuck off. It's the Dapper Rapper with a voice smoother than his own head. Uh, it's Ben. Hi, Ben. Hey, Dan. How you doing? Dab off that, dab off that towel, but give me... Give me some sort of like, give me like an aftershave commercial on you. Yeah, don't mention dab around Lewis. It's... Please don't. Right. Don't want that again. <laughs> no, set him off again. Yeah. Uh, and you've ruined it for me. It's the Silky Scott that talks more mints than anyone else. It's the Lavy Head himself. It's Lewis. Hi there. Hi, Lou. Pure silk okay? coming right at you. Yeah. What's silk the, uh, what's... Silk in the face. Silk all over your chebs. Lewis, how warm is it in Scotland at the moment? Um, it's not as warm as it was on Sunday. Sunday was unbearable. Like 10 degrees. 10 degrees. <laughs> Literally. T- shorts, no t shirt, topless. 10 degrees. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Absolutely awful. Ben, what is it in London? Uh, it's currently 26 still. Um, it peaked at 31 today. Bloody hell. So it's Caled at the moment in London. It is Caled. Yep. People taking to the streets yet? Started like kicking off about it. No, Lolly Ices. Oh, no riots, yeah. no looting. It's all a bit tame, to be honest. Mm. Disappointing. Okay, well, a bit tame. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go and segue into something quite tame. I don't want to know what drinks you've got in front of you, because that's a bit of a given with the weather. Mm. Um, but I want to know what you had for your tea, for your dinner, for your supper, whatever you call it. Uh, Lewis, come on, what you I have? I, oh, I had uh, spaghetti bolognese. Nice and wholesome. Oh, I had nice that yesterday. Lovely. I really, I really, I like a bit of spag bowl. Good Any one. specific ingredient that you have in your spag bowl to make it special? Um, Ailey! Ailey! <laughs> Oh, so <laughs> Scottish. Back in the fucking kitchen. <laughs> Tell us what you made. I don't know. What's in that doll, Mio? Yeah. <laughs> what, what is this? What is this? <laughs> it's just a packet from Tesco. <laughs> Why are we Southern? <laughs> uh, nice. What are you drinking, mate? Come on, that looked interesting. Oh, it's, a, it's the it's the Ben beer. So it's, um, okay. there we go. What's it called? Bald Bird Birds Brewing Company. Mm. Dig it. Cream IPA. Mm. Nice. It looks how how I was dressed this afternoon. As well, yeah. Same colour scheme. It looks like Ben. Uh, ben also ha- likes having uh, birds on his head, but normally it's 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 Max's mum clamped his face. <laughs> <laughs> the love child of Nicholas and Elka and Tim Howard. Ben, you're wearing a neon shirt. Benny yeah. on, neon, neon Ben, Benny on. Mm-hmm. What are you, uh, what do you have for your tea? Uh, oh, just this whole wheat pasta, broccoli, pesto thing. Very simple. Okay. Very broccoli summery. and pesto? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Domeo boy. Nothing wrong with a bit of Domeo. Yeah. Mis- misogynist in the corner and Ben's like cooking a whole oh. hard meal. Um, so nature's chip, broccoli. <laughs> Mm, yeah, all sure. in agreement of that. Love broccoli, love a bit of broccoli. Or Talk tree. me through the how how firm do you like your broccoli? I like it all all kinds. I don't like it soggy. I like it crunchy. Yeah. And when I'm when yeah. I'm cutting up the broccoli, I'll I'll save the stalk for myself and just munch on that as a little snack while I'm breaking Ooh. off the, the florets. Tender Ultra. stems? Tender stem if we're pushing the boat out, you know. If I was trying <laughs> to impress someone I'd probably throw in some tender stem, but yeah. Just, just your standard broccoli is a is a, is a mainstay in this household. I'm got not a massive fan, but I do like it. 
Those are good. the the key ingredients that we seem to have every other meal. Salmon, yeah. mm. salmon, salmon. <laughs> We're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to cover a lot of the podcast because there's only three of us this week. Oh, um, dear. We are joined by the wheel. All will make sense soon. And we will come to that wheel. But uh, yeah, a bit of filler because uh, Laurie's Laurie's off the off the case. Alex is away gallivanting. Don't know who will authorise that. Ben, your HR. Can you tell me? Trucking. Uh, no, I don't. I don't. He's, he's gone rogue. He's gone rogue. Gone rogue. Yeah. Rogue legacy. Anyway, I am your Flamingo fan, the Segway King, the Alpha and the Omega, the Danny Ward. We are the cross players and we're going to talk into your ear holes about beloved, our beloved video <laughs> about our beloved video games. Uh, if you'd like to support us, please give this podcast a sub on the service you're using. Follow us on Twitter at the Cross Players. Uh, fuck off, Ben. Or check out thecrossplayers.com for links to all of our content. Or if you're stark raving mad, uh, hit up patreon.com slash the cross players and contribute as little as two pounds to help us produce the show and get exclusive access to the show live not quite yet at the moment it's on twitch dan uh, and entry into our batshit crazy whatsapp just like luke cooper uh who allegedly works for some organization that did things that i can't say because that would that would ruin the whole point of a public podcast thanks uh, luke. he's mates with mark who's grumpy that's what mm. we said last time. Uh, let's get started and dive Chebs first into pick up and play. <laughs> and it is. Who are you coming to He's first? Made. What was that? Who are you coming to first? Well, the video's finished now. It, you know, it's like a 10 second video and you're jumping right into the middle of it. I'm meant to be fucking Segway King and you're doing this shit. <laughs> Sorry. Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> what have you picked up and what are you playing, mate? I've, I've, tell I've, us. I've picked up nothing. I'm on a bit of a. I've been picking up lots of vinyl, vinyl records to listen to. Jesus uh, Christ, what's no, happening to you? Eye tests and vinyl records. I know, it's getting old. What it's next? Getting, uh, getting in my new teeth. Getting in my false teeth. Um, It'll be a win back in kids in the uh, in the basement. So. I know, I'm going, to, I'm going to see Mark, I'm going to see set up next week. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I've not picked up anything and to be honest, not played a lot. I've, I've kept on uh, with Portal. I think I'm nearing the end. Um, really, really, it's such a great game. I know you guys aren't overly massive on it, but... Um, I, I do think that the Switch is a great platform for it, as it is okay. with most with most with most um, games that you can just play it wherever and whenever. Um, yeah, just crack it on with that. Just, I think. Shakira just popped into my head when I said that. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yep. Wherever. Cook an egg on that. Yep. Um, and also off the bat, off the off the strength of Ben's sale, sales pitch, I picked up Chicory through the week. Um, I've not had a massive opportunity to play that. Lewis, it was, it was but... broccoli I was talking about. Oh, Chicory. right. <laughs> Sorry. You wally. God, change the delivery. Yeah, so, so Chicory, this... it's such a lovely little game. It's just that it? game that Ben's just been banging on about on every fucking possible platform. Yeah. Trying to get as many people as possible to buy it again. Yeah. Okay. So Influencer. Not... So then the first, the first temple, the Wielder Temple, I believe it's called. Mm-hmm. Yep, I've not played it since then. Um, but just 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 enjoying painting stuff and uh, putting my own little creative stamp on things. Talking of stamps, I've just I've unlocked a couple of the. Um, I thought you were going to say I'm tick. starting to collect them. I was Start like, that's a them, fucking yeah. surprise. Uh, the uh, textures as well yeah. for your palette. Uh, yeah, fun little game. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I was, see I that was you, a... you platinumed it as well. Of course, of course. I, said, I mean, I said I, I said I would on the last episode. You said you were thinking about it. You know, don't, I don't like to do things by halves. Um, yeah, I really, <laughs> I really enjoyed that game. I think, I think uh, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. I kind of thought when I was telling you guys about it last week, I kind of thought Alex that would be right up his alley, but mm. I was a bit unsure whether you would gel with it or not. But that's that's what you just like said in the chat. Painting? You just said in the chat. He's picked it up. Mm. So there you go. Alex, Ben, 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 I bought it too. 
Uh, one other thing that I, not, I didn't buy, but I noticed. So I've I've, I've upgraded my PS Plus to uh, extra, the next step up, and within mm. that tier is uh, actually Final Fantasy Twelve. Yeah, good game. Mm. We should do a, a group playthrough. Of it. We should. Nice. Just, just yeah, just thought I'd just thought I'd mention the, that the game I had to buy twice on Switch. I've got. Um, yeah. Uh, did you, you did you did order something today, though, Lewis? I did order something, and it's a question. Well, a, a very good question from a fine, young, upstanding gentleman called Smark. He asked if I managed to pick up the Nintendo 64 controller, which went back on sale at around 12 o'clock UK time. And just by chance, I, was, I jumped into Discord, uh, and I saw that Luke had posted it, that it was there, and I managed... I managed to get one, and it has been dispatched already. Got the email just before we started, so happy. I'm chuffed. I can now uh, play uh, Ocarina of Time in Majora's Mask using a terrible controller. Um, looking forward to that experience. Um, yeah, Laurie think... was fuming about that as well, wasn't he? Yeah. Cause he? He was like, they introduced notifications on a website, and I they didn't did. bloody get one. Yeah, so so I, I had the same thing. I'd, I'd marked, uh, I'd ticked the box to be notified when it came back in stock. It just did not happen. I've still not got the email. So what's the what's mm. the point? What's the point in that? Stupid being there? Though, isn't it? Um, can't be trusted. Luke, 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 be trusted. Luke can be trusted. He, he is the most trustworthy of us all. He um, is but that's the first time they've been back in stock since in the UK since October, and they were back out of stock in about half an hour. Yeah, I picked I, one up as well. I thought, why not? You did hate it, so you have something to moan about. Oh, I'm happy. I'm well happy. What am I going to just hold this for a bit? It is, look, it's a terrible way to play terrible games. That's, that's perfect harmony. No, um, why have you bought that? That's Why? Yeah. Why, why are you Even I'm asking. Even I'm asking why. Me? No, because, uh, right, Star, uh, what's it, Star Fox, Lilac Wars. Mm. I wanted to give that a fair crack, but the controller configuration it's, it's difficult, is yeah. terrible. So I think it's... Mm. Give it, give it its due, and try, try some of these games out, the way that uh, God intended. You paid forty quid to play Lilac Wars for five minutes, so I can come on this podcast and go, yeah, it is shit. <laughs> stupid game, stupid <laughs> console, stupid controller. Yeah, looks good on the shelf. Mm. That's what we say, isn't it? That's yeah. the excuse we give I've got for the shelf. Right there, that will look great. There is, you, there uh, is uh, something to do, like. The scarcity of it does make you think, oh, oh, I better get one of them. Oh, yeah, yeah. FOMO. Like, 100% yeah. agree. As soon as, like, something... it Like, it's the Steam Deck, isn't it? I'm trying not to fulfil the destiny I, you guys um, bestowed upon me at the start of the year that I was going to buy one, but as soon as I see it's like, oh, it's sold out again, or it's hard to get, I'm like... Hmm. Yes. I'll get one. You get a play date next. Nah. <laughs> Cranky wanky thing. <laughs> no. no. Max walked into that, bless him. Uh, anything else, Lewis? Anything That's else? it. Been- that is that's it. it. Yep, that's, that's me. No, mo- no mobile games, nothing weird, no wacky, no ROMs from next door. No, 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 nothing. No. no. Ben, come on then. Uh, I have been playing uh, Death Stranding. Oh, <gasps> director's Ooh. cut. And um, I can. Have you, you guys haven't played this one, have you? No, no. I've installed it. Does that count? Nope. Um. It's, uh, I can see why it's so divisive. Let's put it that way. Okay. From the first f- few hours, you're like, you are, you are literally walking around really slowly, delivering packages, stumbling over, having to hold down the triggers so that you stop falling over tiny, tiny little rocks. And it, at the start, you're like, uh, to, be, to begin with, I was expecting like two hours of cutscenes. Because that's, yeah, that's what I'd been led to believe. It was, yeah. I don't know, maybe ten minutes, and then a bit of action, and then another cutscene. Okay. I, I thought it was, a, it was just like hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, but it was fine. It, that's the thing. I, I don't know if because my ex- expectations were it was just going to be a game that you just watch, mm. um, but it's not that at all. It's really involved, and yeah, um, okay. I, I, it's it's definitely got its hooks in me now. I've I'm about eighteen hours into it. Christ. Um, I think it's a pretty long game because yeah. yeah, I'm only at, towards the end of chapter three 
got like forty one percent of the trophies. Um and it's and I'm playing it on hard actually as well, Lewis. Alright, okay. Yeah. See that thing. <laughs> um, so I that just I get did... extra trophies for, yeah. for your yeah. platinum run. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that was for you, Alex. Um <laughs> Yeah, it's it's so yeah, it's it, it's very I can see why like IGN gave it like a six and a half and mm. other people have given it tens and said it's the greatest game of all time. Because it is I think if it if it grabs you, it's got that kind of like sense of adventure, almost like something like Elden Ring's got. Mm, because okay. you are you're just out there almost like making your own stories kind of thing. Like there it is very narrative driven, but when you're out in the world shit just happens to you kind of like you know when we're playing Fortnite, and it's just the the best memories we've got of that are you know hiding from people together mm. like on a rooftop somewhere like when i've played it there's you know i've, I've gone out this isn't spoilery because i mean the, the trailers basically spoil everything in this game as far as i can tell um but you you, you get a motorbike after a little while so you're out in that uh, i was i was going for a ride <laughs> Go, making a delivery and then these like these BTs appear which are like these ghostly things and you have to either try and take care of them or get the fuck away from them are they um, the Mads Mikkelsen <clears throat> um no they are just like these yeah ghostly figures that appear whenever it's or when it, when it's raining basically um and I was I got away from them and then put my I ended up in a ditch and my bike just got ruined so then I had to run to my destination and, that, and that, yeah that happens um left the bike behind me had to just you know had to I've, I've got past the bad guys that's fine I'll just run to the destination uh very with this fucking massive stack of things on top of me and then I walk into this like enemy encampment there's these things called mm. mules which are basically like the 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 bad humans um and then so I, I'm just running away from them and I can see like there's, you know, 20 of them behind me throwing spears at me and I'm like trying to just run in for my life past them. And it's almost like this like dark comedy to it because it's, it's ridiculous. This bloke who's got this massive stack of really heavy parcels just running like Yakuza style away from <laughs> all these guys. Uh <laughs> And it's just, the guy out the walking dead running away from a load of people yeah and it's just it's just really really weird um mm. but there's just moments of it where like when you get when you're safe and the camera will sort of pan back slightly and then some music will come on and there you know and you, it'll say like the name of the track and the artist and it'll be this gorgeous little moment of tranquility and you're just like in quiet awe just yeah just taking it all in um and it's it's just bizarre it's a it's a really uh, it's a hard one to recommend like going back to chicory i could say 90 percent of people who play chicory will get something out of it i'm completely i couldn't even gauge whether like, either of you guys would like it or not you might get mm. oh, that's why we were hoping to get laurie on because he's um he started it <coughs> at the yeah, weekend yeah. as well as far as i know um just to, to get his input because i think that first five hours even i was like i don't know if i'll stick with this but i kind of pushed yeah. through that um and it's yeah it, it's it's really good it's got that whole thing where the the story of it you're basically reconnecting america trying to get all these little um like stations back online to connect everybody back together and mm. building roads and things like that um with players from around the world who are all contributing to it so there's that struggle and also the struggle of the the gameplay itself it's pretty you know it's it is like proper struggle core hard to do laborious um but there's something about that about the story and the gameplay tying together like like in something like celeste where you're you're climbing a mountain hmm. but you're also climbing like a mental mountain as well um yeah it's it's pure art and like my view of uh, Kojima is that he was always like, oh, he just seems like he's up his own ass a bit. Um, yeah. And he is, but I'm I'm happy to be up there with him. <laughs> like it's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's really, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's grabbed me and it makes me want to go and play like 
you know, Metal Gear Solid Five or something like that yeah. after this, and just see what what else he can pull out. Of his Metal Gear Solid Five, like just as a playground, I think still holds up, but. He does inject like my favorite. My, well, my first was Metal Gear Solid, and then Metal Gear Solid Two, and then like pretty much played everything in the mainline series from that point onwards. So Death Stranding does appeal to me because there is always some, there is always some sort of mechanic or magic that inject, injects into his game that is just batshit crazy, and it makes you really interested or it, it keeps you gripped. And it's very few game makers actually do that, which is why. I think when people throw around AAA as like a, a phrase for certain games, like some Ubisoft games aren't AAA as yeah. much as they yeah. are, and they've got yeah, a bunch yeah. of it. They're not like you. You can play some of the Far Cry games, and they're amazing, wonderful games, but the actual content of them doesn't have that edge or doesn't have that polish. Whereas like Kojima games has the polish, but sometimes lacks some of the direction or some of the the mm. fiber that other games have. So yeah, I, I've I bought it a while back. I got the. Um, the same edition purposely stupidly uh so I, I will jump into it at some point and i'm curious to see what he's going to do with xbox as well now that that's been announced yeah yeah uh, it will like i it's going to be interesting like uh, you said the word interesting there the, it is a an interesting game like um mm -hmm. uh, there's times where i'm like i'm not i'm not like having fun necessarily but i'm like yeah. i, I want to see what happens next because this is Does just it's just cool does it have like I know there's like a community mode or something to it where you can see structures that other people have built to like traverse certain areas? Like if you come across anything like that yet in the game? Yeah, loads. So you can okay. Yeah, the, basically there's this massive road that spans the continent, but it's only like a tiny little bit built now. But every okay. time I go back to it, I'll throw some materials into it, and then other people around the world are doing the same. Oh, so eventually, that's true. I didn't know that. Yeah, and that that's cool. really cool. Um, and then that's you amazing. can, you know, you can build like uh, shelters to keep you out of the rain, and and it'll appear in other people's worlds as well. Little post boxes where you can leave items or, or share items with each other, and it that that aspect of it, I kind of, I don't know, I, I, I'd heard of it, but I wasn't really expecting much from it. But mm. it, it's really intrinsic, and again, that's part of the 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 message in the story being reflected in the gameplay like we are actually all connecting with each other and it's good i, I mean fair play like it is it feels like a proper triple a game but with a like real indie sensibilities and yeah. real like it, it's brave it's a brave game it's a risk yeah yeah like for sony yeah. to basically give him a blank check and go go on mate do do, yeah. do your worst and it, it's yeah it's so far it's got that elden ring feel to it where it is so far from your typical open world thing it just feels just weird and exotic and like i don't know what's gonna happen next but i'm i'm down with it so with like the heat in london a little bit of dehydration and then playing that game it's just a fucking fever dream for you at the moment i can like <laughs> it is yeah it is, <laughs> it is. That's, any more uh any go on no, I, was gonna say, go. Like, I, I don't think i've ever played uh, a kojima game but Death Stranding really? is one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because I was never a PlayStation guy. Jump into Metal Gear Solid Five, mate, because I think it's on PS Plus, and then yeah. you can also. I've, I've, got, uh, I've, I've got it installed. It's just, yeah. It's just in banking. I know it there that the the um, the impression you get is that you're going to get an open cinematic, and whenever I'm deciding on playing something new, I go, do I want to have to sit through a film before I start? It's so not, that's interesting. Yeah. That you've said that Death Stranding's ten minutes. So now it might have bumped up a couple of places. Are you going to go, well, maybe it was like 45. <laughs> Mega Solid 5, it's Ten, got... give or take. <laughs> Mega Solid 5 has a weird <clears throat> intro, like most Kojima games, yeah. but it, it kind of, I don't think that's too long either. I think it's maybe like 20 minutes yeah, with a bit right. of gameplay in it as well. But as soon as you get into the missions, it's, it's still one of the best open, well, not open world, but best kind of like play boxes sandboxes yeah, okay. you know where you can just do something in like almost like a mini open world yeah and just the way it in interjects with like 80s music as well so you'll be like you can get manny to start playing from your helicopter where you get deployed and it's just weird little quirky things like that where kojima throws it into his games like his love for like pop culture um that just makes it stick out in my mind but yeah that in terms of mechanics still still holds up I played it a couple of weeks back it's a really really fun game um that has that has shot up my priority list of things like on the backlog that I want to play now. It gets it the loses its way maybe like 
three quarters of the way into the campaign because he I think he fell out of love with Konami at that point. Ah, exactly. Um yeah, and I think it, it kind of just peters off at that point. But the story's the story, it's really is what it is, but the actual mechanic and the gameplay is so much fun to to do. Uh anything else, Ben? No, no, that's that's it for me. Mm, cool. I picked up a couple of things. Um so I picked up Inside because that was on <clears throat> sale the other day. I noticed on Switch yeah. for absolute buttons. It seemed like <laughs> a quid or something stupid. So I know you can get it on uh, Game Pass and PS Plus, but it made sense to, to try and pick up on Switch because it's the perfect kind of Switch game for me. Yep. I've not played Inside or Limbo, so um, something that I kind of want to uh, equip some time to over the next couple of weeks to play those games. So got I that. Uh, put, put an evening aside for Inside, like okay. just sit down set you know three hours aside yeah and play through it all in one hit and it it's like watching an amazing horror movie i would say not not like overly scary or anything it's more creepy but okay. brilliant yeah i've been looking for that kind of game because i've been going to bed at like nine o'clock most nights with maybe a window of like an hour and a half where Soph's doing the the feeds downstairs so um we've got a baby she's not just eating on her own so like she'll <laughs> she'll do the feeds downstairs and then I've got maybe like a, a sweet spot where I can commit like an hour or two before I go to bed. So yeah. yeah, I've downloaded that and I'll probably try and play it tonight depending on what time you wrap up later. So I'm excited by that. Um, I picked up Far Cry on the Xbox today. That was a Prime Day deal for a tenner. Um, I picked up four games on Amazon Prime Gaming. Mm-hmm. Um, so I posted they're all PC games. So it's oh, even yeah. worth if you, go, you guys picking up as well. You get it free with your Prime account. But I think I got... Need for Speed, um, can't remember which one it was, but one of the Need for Speed games I got, uh, in fact, just let me get the list up actually, because I think it's worthwhile me quickly explaining them. Uh, free Prime Gaming Games, okay, News, so it's got News, Amazon Prime 33 Games, so yeah, Mass Effect as well. And so the remastered collection you could get. So sorry, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Grid Legends, Need for Speed Heat, Star Wars Jedi Academy, Star Wars Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, Star Wars Republic uh, Commando. And then there was also 25 indie games. I was like, claim, 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 claim. Uh, Include Death Squared, Fatal Fury Special, Gianna Sisters, Twisted Dreams, Hue, Metal Slug 2, Pumped BMX Pro. Um, all these things just on Origin uh, or mm. on Prime Gaming as well, so you can download it. So I think it's kind of worth just picking up anyway, you know, in the future if you were to get a PC or yeah. if you wanted to stick oh, one yeah. there. Well worth it. it. Is Gianna Sisters nice. that Mario Brothers ripoff? Yeah. <laughs> Gianna Sisters, Twisted Dreams. Yeah, I don't know. I've not seen it. So, But I've got it. That's the main thing. Um, That's all that matters. Other than that, <laughs> other than that what, I was, what else have I picked up? Uh, oh, yes, this gorgeous little t shirt. Oh, plug, 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 plug. You can't see the plug, can you? <laughs> it's nice. So yeah, it is nice. It's far, far better than the um, the other ones that we wore for EGX. Came out. It's come out bloody lovely. You can go over to patreoncom slash players and you can pay fifteen pound for one month, and you get a t-shirt immediately sent out to you. Well, as quickly as Redbubble can ship them, um, and then you can just downgrade your subscription back to the two dollar one, two pound one. Uh, and then you don't have to worry. Or you can keep it the 15 quid one. Get some stickers the next month, which mm. are on their way from Sweden as we speak. Um, so I can't wait to get them. Uh, that is it. I have picked up something else, which I'm going to open. Oh. That's an envelope. 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 Let's see. So being watching the TV show. Oh, that's well cool. There you go. That's our Oh. Boy. It's a Master Chief figurine. Is that what you would call it? Yeah, it's a figurine toy, uh, as other people would call it. So it's, I can't remember the name of the company that make them. Let me have a look on the back, see if it's on here. Wicked Cool Toys, which is a Jazzwares company. So I've been researching like the best figures to buy. So I bought this one, Um, but I'm going to give this away on Twitter, I think. Oof, nice. I've got got a question. Go on. Why does he have so many hands? I don't know, he's quite handy, isn't he? Da, 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 da. Yeah, da, da. Good, good question that, Lewis. Good question. So Only one head. Only one head. 
Yeah. Well, remember those toys you used to get in the nineties? You push the button in the middle, and the head would flip around, and it'd be something else. Like you got Power Ranger. Push the button, and it'd be the head without the helmet. You push the button, and it'd go whoop, and the head, yeah. head with the helmet on. You don't look like you care, Ben. Okay, I'm, I'm moving on. <laughs> moving on. <laughs> Sorry, Alex distracted me. He's just sent a picture of himself in the hot tub. Hold on. So uh, Hold again. On. Join, join, join the Patreon group, folks. Very hot cast. Oh my god! It does look like someone it? surprised them with a the camera. <laughs> just sh- sh- shoved the non-alcoholic <laughs> beer in his mouth. Uh, Bless him. Thanks, Alex. Hold that. Uh, how small are those headphones as well? He's got a massive head. He looks like um, the main character out of the Wolf of Wall Street, doesn't he? <laughs> On the first camera phone, flipping out. Uh, very hot cast. Very, very hot. Very so, sexy. So you, that, that, that Master Chief figure is going on Twitter? It's going on Twitter, yeah. So I, I got it for buttons, to be honest. So I'll uh, flick that on Twitter later, I think. Keep your eye on Twitter if you want to win a Master Chief. Play with it for eight minutes first. <laughs> Don't want to take it out of the box. Like the... Um, physical edition of Halo that I bought, which hasn't been out of the box. Uh. Or even, even the wrapper. So, we're going to play a game. Well, it's not really a game, but we're going to play a section. We're going to play a section. We're going to do a section. That's what we're going to do. Uh, so you can all see the glamorous wheel. That's just below. Uh, the wheel of cheese. That's not what it's called, but I couldn't think of anything different for it. So we're going to call it the wheel of cheese. Uh, basically, what is on that is eight different sections of a game. And we're going to call this section, let's flip and make a video game. Oof. Let's flip and make a video game. Let's do it. Appropriate for kids, the language on the show, fucking fantastic. Let's flipping make a video game. So Clean. what's going to happen? We're going to go around the table. So Lewis, then Ben, right. then myself. Hello. Oh. I'm going to flick the wheel off, flick it, <laughs> and then it's going <laughs> to land on one of those sections. We've all done a little bit of home, uh, homework, 10 minutes of homework. Both Ben and Lewis weren't happy with that. <laughs> um, so we've done our homework and we've all picked one of an answer for all those areas. You can either pick an existing game so let's say genre, you could pick RPG, you could pick action platformer, you can do it, or you can make up your own. You could go wild, you could say cheese platformer because it's the wheel of cheese. Same way you could say main character and you could pick something random, you could say, I don't know, cheese boy, and then make an elaborate game art style. You see where I'm going with this, it could be cheese. You see my okay. notes. <laughs> so just to clarify, so we, based on the notes we've made, we're basically going to make some weird Frankenstein yeah. game. Oh, okay. We're Frankenstein game, so okay, yeah, there we go. That's fine. The only thing I will say, similar to <clears> what the <throat> IGN UK podcast do, if somebody picks a game, as in a thing for a game from a game, or maybe like a specific kind of character or whatever, you can't then use anything from that game in one of your future answers. <laughs> what? <Right. laughs> so let's say I say um, I want to go with the art style of Persona 5 ah. yeah I can't then you can't then pick the music from Persona 5 if you get selected for music okay. oh, what, what, okay. if, what if we made up a game oh that was not difficult well you can't make up the thing again and say cheese game again can you <laughs> well, just fucking go with it will you right I've made up a game as well <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've made up a game as well okay <laughs> uh, it's gonna go well and then I think should we okay do you want me to remove name out of this then we just agree on the name between us oh, then at we'll the have... end at the end yeah okay yeah, so makes sense. let's remove name out uh and shall oh, i man. okay so first off i'm gonna go with ben actually ben's first <coughs> let's spin Ooh. a wheel oh there it goes there it goes sp- what's ben sp- gonna get suspenseful suspenseful Ooh, ben's got feature wild card one so it was <laughs> gonna be Two feature wild cards. So oh, okay. what, Ben's, what Ben's got a pick. I'm going to remove that out of the out of the wheel. Ben's got to now pick a feature that he would see in the game. So as an example of a feature that I gave to the guys could be Kratos's Kratos's uh, axe where he throws it and then pulls it back. Something like that that he wants to put into the game. Right. Ben. Ben Neon. Ben Ben Neon. Um. Go with? So, <clears throat> full disclosure. This is the only part I didn't fill in. Uh, oh, God. S- God. so um, feature wild card um, <laughs> spin it again let's spin again yeah, I'm spin gonna it again. put it in again and tell you what I'll leave it to the end and we'll do that with name Yeah, put it in flick it off 
spinning the wheel. <laughs> there we go. There we come. And he's got music. It's on brand. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Um, so basically, the the uh, the OST is a pastiche of Michael Jackson's signature style. Oh, okay. okay. Let's talk to me why you picked that, please. Can we just have a little bit of a... Which <clears> songs <throat> are you thinking in your head? I know he's saying a pastiche of style, but I want to know a little bit more. Give me a flavor. Just, just a very, um, very, very funky... Uh, very sort of very you would think it was Michael Jackson to hear it you would in everyone hearing it would instantly think oh that's that's clearly done in the style of Michael Jackson why why what's that got to do with the rest of the game let's find out okay <laughs> okay <laughs> best answer it, okay. <laughs> so Lewis what did you pick for music mate just because you you can't get your answer I'm hey, I, I, I just said 70s jazz <laughs> any particular reason I, if you'd seen my, if you see my whole game, you would understand why. So let me go revisit that. Okay, that's fine. You're making me work for this guys tonight. It's fine. <coughs> of course. Uh, Michael Jackson. You always said ten music. minutes of prep. Yeah, ten minutes of prep <laughs> evidently means five for what you guys have populated. That's absolutely fine. You should so have just said go and listen to the IGN UK podcast because apparently they. Well, do that's that. not what. Uh, that is completely different. What they do. So oh, okay. fuck you. Yeah, it's popular. <laughs> so clearly you haven't listened properly. Um, I've never listened to it in my life. That's all right. We've only done th- you liar. We've done thirty-seven minutes on the podcast, so come on, make it work for me. Let's spin the wheel for Lewis. It's me. Here it goes. We're spinning. We're spinning. We're spinning, and it's on genre. Lewis, what is the genre, please? <gasps> right, so it's a, a brand new genre, <clears throat> never to be seen, be- never seen before, and it's a swing. <laughs> it's a swinging RPG. An RPG for swingers. <laughs> With Michael Jackson music. <laughs> oh, oh okay. It's a swinging, swinging RPG. So just talk to me a little bit about this. So we obviously we get Japanese role playing games. We get role playing mm. games where like you, you you're there. Then maybe the Elden Ring or maybe something like Final Fantasy. Mm. Ironic name. So talk to me about what happens in a swinging RPG. You know what's the what's the what's the the view here? What's the vision? It's it's really it's a, it's a it's a style of game where you can you can meet people and um, you can get get together with them. You can you can see what they're like, yeah, yeah. and you can just you know it's just it's just a way to uh, to introduce yourself and uh, and maybe then go on an adventure. Maybe you can posse up with three others, um, <laughs> and you can go on a big adventure and see what see what happens. Okay, can you um, can you romance NPCs in this game? Of of, of course. Okay, cool. And what about the um, what about your character and your party? Can you select the party that you've got? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's an interchangeable party. It can change from you know from from day to day. Just depend depends on who you meet. You can pick anyone on the street, basically. <laughs> Is the UI like keys in a bowl, and you can go, oh right, I love that. That's, one a, that's a good one. Let's add yeah. that. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's a feature. Okay. That's a feature. <laughs> that's your. That's yours. <laughs> that's my feature. wild card. <laughs> Oh Christ! Let's spin the wheel again. Okay, I've answered one of these, and I know it's going to land on it. Main characters, Christ on a bike. This is not going to go well. Okay, so I've I'm going to show you my notes because I've actually picked the main character as me, slightly <laughs> overweight, overworked father of two, uh, goes on a swinging adventure uh, to Michael Jackson's music. So the reason i picked myself is i'm not your, your standard yeah i'm you know, i'm an anti-hero you know i'm not the person that's always well liked you know so i'm beloved by some but not by many not by all not naive not not in that way by any stretch but a bit of an egotist you know now and again um like to wear yellow shorts like to wear a yellow watch yellow shirt at the same time um sunglasses be- indoors Sunglasses mm. indoors. It's meant to be Maverick. representative of the heat, but again, just rocking them anyway. Uh, you know, that kind of character, I think, is just not represented well in video games, and I would like to be that person in the video game. I didn't acknowledge or understand that Lewis was going to pick a swinging RPG. <laughs> why, why would you? It's not going to do very well for sound bites at any point. Um, <laughs> Frost calls 43 in the chat, says Dan Ward returns to Neverland. In what capacity... <laughs> In what capacity? I need. I need. Oh, are we talking as a, young, as a younger man, or it's one of fucking Mark's holiday homes? Uh, 
so there we go. So at the moment, I'm the main character in a swinging RPG with Michael Jackson's uh, or music to the style of Michael Jackson. We are spinning the wheel for Ben. Next, Ben has got platform. Ben, platform. I mean, it's got to be play date, <laughs> really. <laughs> 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 uh, Wanky crank. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Oh, I'm trapped in a play date. Ironically, <laughs> for yeah, for all the different things, that's what Ben meant, wasn't it? Play date, Ben, are you gonna get one? Nope. Why not? <laughs> because uh they're overpriced and a little bit uh of a a uh, bit of a luxury that I bit. don't want. <laughs> Bit like the N sixty four controller that you just bought. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. To okay. be fair, so, yeah. so it's not off the table then. So, as a percentage chance of you picking up one, what are we saying? Ten percent. Ten percent, Lewis. What do you think? For Ben, I, yeah. um, I'm going to say thirty. Thirty percent. Who? Yeah, I'm still... probably going to say. I'll agree with you on thirty. Who's the most likely, other than Max and the patron group? Do we think that will actually pick up a play date? <laughs> Well, Nate's got one as well, hasn't he? Yeah. Has he? Oh, yeah. Oh, Nate off it, off the list as well. And I think Sean Hughes has ordered one. Has he ordered one? I think Laurie, because you can imagine Laurie just... Yeah. Oh, it's lovely, lovely little yes. sandbox. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, it's just, just lovely little experience. On his little <laughs> shelf. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectly dusted. No, it's, that's exactly where it has to go. <laughs> Leave the drinks tray. <laughs> Leave the severed head. Um, okay, so Michael Jackson's uh, music symbolic of Michael Jackson, not symbolic, sorry, sorry. <laughs> in the style of Michael Jackson uh, in a swinging RPG, I'm the main character on a play date. That's what we've got at the moment. Lewis, you've either, you're either going to get art style or gameplay mechanic, so yep. let's spin that wheel. Okay, okay, here it comes. I'm guessing you've got art style. You have. You've got art style. What are you going for? Cell shaded. It's it's cell shaded. Cell shaded. Sensible yeah. answer. So, any cell shaded games coming to mind that you can give us a bit of a picture? Well, imagine, imagine uh, Legend, of Zelda, Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker on a play date, but as a swinging RPG starring Dan Ward. That's uh, just just picture that right now. I think you'd look good cell shaded, Dan. It's, a, it's an evergreen art style. It looks good years and years after it's been released. Um, it just really suits the swinging RPG style, I think, from the 70s. And the uh, the black and white screen of the And the black and white screen. Maybe there's, a, <laughs> there's an update we can maybe uh, suggest to um, panic button, so we do that. Uh, just to put a little, little LCD colour screen on there. It'll be good. It'll be golden. Okay. That'll be it. Tyler Bear's written in the chat, ironic that one community member who owns a Playdate's closest experience to swinging happens in the local playground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Frostgull's 43. He went as key. Things were bad. Uh, returns as the hulking handsome chap he is. Okay, he's giving me a narrative here. Oh, Come on. Nice. Keep feeding me now. Eight viewers at the moment. I want more narrative of this. Michael Jackson style of music. <clears throat> swinging RPG. Starring Dan Ward. On a play date. Cell shaded. Similar to Wind Waker. And um, the gameplay mechanic. So I'm going to spin a wheel just for the hilarity of it. Even though there's one thing left on there. <laughs> <laughs> gameplay mechanic on there. Start thinking of a name as well, chat. Come on. Give us, a, give us suggestions for a name. And I'm not going to change my gameplay mechanic. I found this absolutely hilarious and I think this is going to be a fantastic addition but I've always loved the burnout demolition mechanic so whenever <laughs> <laughs> a car oh, smashes God. into another car and burnout uh, and then obviously chaos and shoes and you get like all the different cars vans automobiles bikes crashing mm. into it and you cause millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of damage uh, so how we're going to f- work that into a swing in RPG I mean obviously when you're uh you're crashing into someone else you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay doing damage so it'll have like the effect of mortal Kombat, where it's like breaking what? bones and stuff yeah. am i murdering people when i'm sleeping with them i think happening? i think you are and i think that's where the michael jackson music comes in mm. it's all very sinister that's a toddler <laughs> i'm gonna shut that window 
So um, what's your, what genre did we did we have? RPG, wasn't it? Swing, uh, swinging RPG. An okay, SRPG. So S, S, S lowercase w RPG. So you're swinging. Yeah. Swinging. You're cranking. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so what are you doing with the crank then on the play date? What's the... I think you are... I mean, I think you start slowly. <laughs> yeah. But I think the, 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 the crank can be like you're yeah. walking. Yeah. Yeah, it could be you're walking, walking slowly up towards the party with the music. And then like the, maybe the, the paving stones are glowing as you're uh, walking towards the party. <laughs> and you can go backwards. You can start walking backwards again and it'll do it in the yeah. reverse order. The crank's great. Yeah. So you have to, what, bump into people? Yeah, yeah. I would say you have to go to the like a party, start just you know mingling. Yeah, getting in there, see what's happening. But it's a swinging RP, so I'm I'm there with my significant other. I'm not going. Oh my god. Okay. One, so, got it. right. So, <laughs> you have to try and build your party or or your sort of harem almost of the most attractive people that you can find. But you use that burnout mechanic to get rid of all the unattractive ones and the ones you ah. don't want. And you could call it bumping uglies. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Wow. Okay. Bumping uglies. Okay. I like that. Could have gone like the leisure suit Larry way, but I'm relieved it's now <laughs> veering off in a, in a in a more successful way. Chat mm. is saying uh, Frosticles 43 again. It's got to be called Beat It. Take it how you will uh, be an 8-bit version of the song Beat It as the theme. Yeah, uh, that's too close. That's too close to Michael Jackson. I think we'd have to call it crank, crank it. Mm. Crank it. Eh? That could be good. Yeah. Crank them. Spanky, cranky, wanky. Mm. Uh, have we got any other features or gameplay mechanics that we want to throw in this game? It's just a little bit of a curveball. <laughs> no, no, none that are vaguely relevant to this. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. We're not going to decide on the name today. What we're going to do is we're going to post that in the Discord later. So again, just to repeat, we've got a Michael Jackson's music, similar <laughs> to music, uh, swinging RPG, S RPG, as Lewis said. Uh, I'm the main character. Uh, it's on a play date, cell shaded, similar to Wind Waker. We've got that crank on, on there as a mechanic, and you do things with that crank we were thinking of. And then obviously you've got the burnout. Let's say burnout uh, paradise. No, not burnout paradise. What's the, that, what's the, yeah. yeah, you do it in Paradise. Yeah, yeah. Is it Paradise? Let's go with Paradise. Yeah, the, the collision mechanic type thing. Collision mechanic in Burnout. Yeah. Let's just say that. So that collision mechanic in Burnout, <laughs> as Ben said, uh, allows me to clear out the floor in a, uh, a swinging party of people that don't make the list. So we could have it like on Theme Hospital, you know, where you've got select people off a list, but they've got like, maybe there's three attributes and some of them are really good at some things, some of them aren't. So it could be one that maybe overstays their welcome. It's like an attribute. Yeah. So like five mm -hmm. would mean they're in and out. You know, they're, they're, they're not going to stay. They're not going to bother yeah, you. They're not going to yeah. stay overnight. Um, this one because you mate all the time. No. Yeah. You can go. Yeah. Cl cleanliness. That's a really important one. So yeah. you could have... Personal hygiene. Stay in power. Mm -hmm. Maybe not stay in... Phrase that way. Yeah. Cleanliness. What, what would be the third one? Uh, fertility. <laughs> <laughs> You don't want it to be low, I would say. I don't know. <laughs> if you're going to, the, if you're going to these parties, you go to lots of parties, you don't want that to be well low. Zero so that, yeah. is ideal. Yeah. Maybe that's the hilarious part of the game where you don't really know what that attribute means, if it's good or bad, if it's three or five stars. It's Maybe like, that's oh, the God. lesson you learn in the end. You've spent all yeah. this time, you know, you're, 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 maybe your weapon is you're like firing uranium at these to try and make them uh, so they're completely infertile. But then the lesson at the end is actually... I want to meet someone fertile, yeah. Because I'm not, fi I'm not finding any happiness mm. in this. That's the lesson we're trying to teach with this game. Again, much like Death Stranding, the narrative and the gameplay really comes together. I, th I think we've stumbled on gold here, boys. Mm. I think this is fantastic. Totally. I'd, I'd have it like Slay the Spire, where you could complete this game in like ten minutes as well if you just get a really lucky run. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> and the the goal of the game is to build the perfect party, harem, as you will. Okay, there I we like go. It. That's okay. So we'll post the the details up in Discord. I don't know in what channel at this point, but we'll post them in, uh, and then we'll get the opportunity to see exactly what people think it should be named, and then we'll land on a name, post that on Twitter, probably get cancelled, lose a patron or two. 
Yeah. Or, yeah. yeah. Standard uh, week at the office. Standard week at the office. Speaking of standard weeks at the office, Ben, you looking like you're you're rather trimmed this week. Thank rather you. Kept. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had a I've had a little a little touch up. A little touch up. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Playing cool. that SRPG. SRPG. <laughs> Are you are you you jumping into this or do I need to bring the notes up? I don't know. Uh I I can if you want. <laughs> Let, I tell you what, let's think of a better segue than that. Ben, how are your balls? Really nice. In fact, hey you, <laughs> yeah you got bush. You definitely do if you haven't tried the best products from our sponsor today, Manscaped. Taking control of your bush is important. <clears throat> These products are so good, you're going to be showing pride in your new bush-free yard. It's, I can see someone editing the notes as I'm talking. It's, it's a fact that you will have the best kept nutsack on the cul-de-sac. Save big and be the most hygienic version of yourself. Personal, personal hygiene is very important as we just discussed. By using our code CROSS for 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. Yes. Boom. You guys used it at all this week? Either lawnmower or any of the products? Yes. In fact, uh, I've used the 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 razor, the, uh, uh-huh. you know, the, that part. I forget the name of it, but um, I've used that on my head. And I've also used okay. the uh, the lawnmower 4.0 on my beard. Wow. Nice. Okay. So, I um, use the lawnmower yeah. 4.0 because I unevenly grow hair. I do grow hair contrary to popular belief uh <laughs> on both my face and my balls so my face i trim down certain parts but it's really good for precision i think and then same precision precision down there as well which i quite enjoy yeah. being a rather kept man now um of course yeah yeah i've, I've not i've not used mine in a couple of weeks i like to let the ringlets grow and then uh, really get into, into the weeds um <laughs> Satisfying. I do. I do like using the the ball, the ball toner is nice. Just putting it on, slapping it yeah. on there. Just, it's nice. <laughs> Have you seen that video of the guy that slaps his balls? Yeah. And he's outside like a yeah. He just goes. <laughs> but he's like people going for it. I'm sharing that video in the group later. Um, but yeah, the um, the toner is fantastic. It's it is, really it good. smells really nice. It's really yeah, nice it Really good. I like, soaked a couple of times. I said like, what's that smell? And I've been like. <laughs> But it's also the ball toner. Uh, <laughs> why are your balls above me, Dan? Uh, but yeah, that, that that does smell absolutely fantastic. It's yeah. really really good. Uh, but yeah, it's all, it's all it's all quality stuff, isn't it? Oh yeah, like, definitely. Oh god, yeah, completely. Like, again, not naming other brands, but on a level with any other brand of uh, very expensive hair product that I've used. So yeah. cool. And particularly in this weather that we're having at the moment, I think it's more important than ever to keep things, uh, you know, neat and tidy down there. Yeah, exactly. For, for, for all involved. Um, so, so, so yes, yeah, so you can get uh, 20% off and free shipping with the code CROSS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com using the code CROSS. And that is a really good way to support us if you're... You know, if you're not one of uh, joined up to our Patreon, um, that's another way you can get something for yourself and help us out at the same time with Manscaped code cross manscaped.com. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. So I'm not going to ask you where to find you both on Twitter because I'm being respectful this week. I'm being civil. I'm being nice. I'm not going to go down that route. Um, but Ben, what's been happening in Discord this week, mate? Have we got any comments? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> loads, <laughs> loads, mate, loads. Um, you just need a cold shower in bed, don't you? You're just, just at that point. Cold shower. Uh, Frosticles shouted out Lewis for being a beautiful human being. Yeah, okay. un- un- unpaid for com- compliment. Thank you. Which was nice. Um, so what, what's he done? Yeah, we've had a, a couple of new members join in Discord. The, lots of lots of chat about uh, you know PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, all the consoles. Oh, you know, loads of that. Really good. Really good stuff. Great. Sales stuff, and deals. Sales, sales, sales and deals. deals. Oh, popping uh, off on Prime that's Day. Where, that's where I seen Luke put that um, N64 controller straight in there. Yeah. yeah, if you if you're listening to it, it's worth it just to come in for the deal section because if you're into your games, 
however many hundred people are listening to us at this point in time, if you're into your computer games, which you should be if you're fucking listening to this podcast, because you're certainly on here for the humour, um, then you mm. can go over to Discord, and there is a fantastic channel in there just for deals. We don't promote too much stuff in there. You know, it's a really relaxed atmosphere, and same as the WhatsApp as well. Um, so consider going over there on Discord and getting involved with the fun. Yeah. Lewis, any highlights for you this week over yes. on Discord? Thank you. Thank you for coming to me because I was about to jump in. Um, Cross Seasons, I'll be Tyler slash Alex tonight. Uh, nice. Cross Seasons has kicked back off again and this week we're doing, um, we're playing Fortnite and it's uh, the first one to post or like the, the most amount of wins. If there's a uh, draw and wins, it goes to them with eliminations. Um, so yeah, come and, come and join Discord. Patreon, uh, crosspairs.com forward slash Discord. Uh, get involved. Post up your Fortnite victories and you could become uh, Cross Seasons champion. So this is the uh, the first challenge of Season 3. Three? Three mm. seasons. Three seasons. Six seasons in a movie. That's what we're mm. going for. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, dread to see what the movie would be like. But if you want to find out what that movie is, this isn't me committing to it, but uh, you can become a Patreon <laughs> producer from as little as £2 a month over at patreon.com slash thecrossplayers. Uh, like we said before, you do get gain, uh, gain access to exclusive content perks and giveaways. Uh, you can also have your say on the content we make, and immediately we give you offer to join our WhatsApp group, which is chaotic. Uh, some of the people in that group, Mark Grumpy Grumpy Hammond, Sarah Perbrick, Luke Cooper, Rebecca Rudrenarth, uh, Tyler Renoir, uh, Jason Frost, Timothy Ulf, Lala Gal, Lalina, Carl Hughes, Sean Hughes, not related, well, unlucky Carl, uh, Ethan Hunt, Kevin Scully, Max Wright, Sticky Simpson, Nate Ellingsworth, and Rune Storm is back in the Hi building. Great, great he to see is you again. Back uh, after a brief hiatus, and he is enjoying the fun. He hasn't got WhatsApp, but he is prominent in Discord. Same way he is a prominent game maker for people with very large busts. <laughs> That's true. Cool. This has been fun. Back to the three of us. Eh? Yeah. First time in right. It's been nice. Dream Chosy. team. Team A team. The A team. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I forgot what the A team was. Lewis's forgot. face. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. How far does that button go down? Just one, one button. One button. Okay. <laughs> I was going to wear a shirt tonight with golf clubs on it, but I didn't. Yeah, totally like that. What do you mean? Oh, is that a Tory? This, this gold actually has uh, little little white dots on it, and it look, I wear this to my work sometimes, and it looks like I've been painting. That's just dandruff. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, painting. Like a plasterer's radio. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Let's wrap the podcast up there uh, before we go down that train of thought. Ben, I hope it gets cooler in London. I hope you're not uncomfortable. Um... <laughs> I hope, you, I hope you make more music in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, so do I. Hope you, on, I hope man. you're happy. Thanks. That's really kind. Weird, weird you should say about the music thing. I was uh, I was looking up how to make music in dreams today. That oh, okay. Be a good way to, to get back in the game. Mm. We're talking pro proper music, man, not, not dreams music. <laughs> not I, think you can, I think you can make proper music in dreams. Yeah. Like the same way you can make proper video okay. games in dreams. You, say, you also said that about Animal Crossing. Does that remember? <laughs> <laughs> what? You can make music in Animal Did Crossing. It? When, when you first seen <laughs> that you could create your island's theme song, you're like, oh, really? <laughs> I don't remember that at all. That sounds you like know, utter bollocks. No, it's not. It's God's honest truth. Would I lie? Mm. To be fair, if anyone's going to have an encyclopedic knowledge of what Ben's done in the past, it's going to be Lewis. Exactly. Uh, That's true. Are you hoping for warmer weather, Lewis? Colder weather? What we yeah, colder. It, is, but it was really wet. It was up to 27 here Ooh. over the weekend. And it's, uh, yeah, us Scots are not built to withstand that. Um, it's a bit cooler just now. We're currently at 16, which is okay. It's been a bit more blustery today, so I'm happy. But we're not anywhere near as bad as what's going to be like for. I don't know what it's like for you, Dan, but at least Ben, or the weekend, is going to be horrendous. 32 on Sunday and Monday. So for Ooh. overseas listeners that aren't in the UK, we're, we're getting struck by our annual heat wave, which maybe <laughs> happens for like two days in a year. Um, but this seems to be going on for about five, and the, the country's lost its mind. They got rid of a prime minister. Um, and we're now at the point where yeah, Ben's probably going to explode because it's going to reach, what, 37 degrees in the capital? 37C? No, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I like it. You're going to be so annoying and so yeah. annoyed at the same time. It's going to be fantastic. I can't yeah. wait. 
I right. legitimately looked at the uh, at the weekend. I was looking at, at Argos and I was like checking out the Dyson bladeless fans with cooling. I was like, I could go right now and buy one of them, and I would be comfortable. But I just did not want to spend the cash on it. Too tight fisted. Three hundred fifty pounds for that. That's tight fisted. Yeah. Yeah. That's, no, that's, that's lavish. That's it lavish of you. Yeah. <laughs> I was we got like, one of the Dyson ones, and that's lavish. That was lavish. That was a couple of years ago. Yeah, but yeah. for com- for comfort, got two, I mean, I've got two of them. I've got two of them. <laughs> one on each bollock. Aco two four seven. I'm melting here. Where are you, Aco two four seven? Let us know before we wrap this up. Frost goals two four three. Uh, Forty three. I should say we only get it for two weeks a year. Make the most of it. Could be misinterpreted that phrase. Could be <laughs> one thing. Could be another. But let's assume he's meaning the heat wave. Uh, lads, it's been lovely. Yes. It has indeed. It has been. It's been. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way we're just padding this out. Come on, let's get to an hour. Yeah, no, yeah. I'm never fucking introducing a segment to you, chumps. Ever. I miss I you, Alex. We gonna, Come... I thought we were going to do India in a bottle. I was all prepared for left, that. I left that on accidentally, so it's fine. It's okay. We're wrapping it up. Have you not got I... Michelle Jean's book too, Ben, on your phone? We can do it yeah. right, right now. I'm ready to go, mate. <laughs> I'm not. You're not. Okay. Uh, well, we've, we've hit an hour, so we're going. See you later, Boom. everyone. Right, bye. Enjoy the weather. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and we're off.
kept you waiting, huh? Thank you.